Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I had a question from uh, Diane, and uh, Diane uh, writes, she says, uh, um, my son is doing much better and has a little job at, uh, at a drop-in center uh, for anyone who has issues. She says, I have a question that I would like your input on, and that is his fear of his own decisions and second-guessing himself. Will that be overcome? He has written a short book about the, his experiences, of which he has not yet submitted to a company yet, another decision that he is second-guessing. He had come a long way, and for that I am grateful, yet I see more of him as a person and as a contributor to others. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Diane, for that question. And uh, yes, absolutely. Um, what that is, is when we're second guessing ourselves or when we always are asking other people, should I do this or should I do that? Is this the right decision? Where that comes from, that comes from a lack of confidence. However, it's very common uh, with people uh, who are dealing with mental illness, especially in the uh, first stages of mental illness. I know, for example, I went through that phase as well where I didn't know what to do. I had to ask my dad every everything, should I do this or should I do that? Or even on little things, you know, should I go for a walk or should I go over to my sister's house or you know, should I fill this paperwork in? And, and, and basically what that is, is that because we've had such a shock to our system when we're dealing with mental illness, is that we are, we're, we are, we've lost our confidence. And, uh, that's really where that comes from. Now, that will come back in time. Once we get stable, once we get structured to our life, and once we find out really who we are and we find our place, our niche, uh, uh, within our families, our niche within our friends, our niche within our society, then as we start building confidence and self-esteem again, that will come. But uh, Diane, that's normal. That comes from a lack of confidence, and it's because we've had such a major break when we when mental illness has interrupted our life, is that it's really thrown us for a loop, and it really is hard to get back and trust our own decisions, especially if we've been paranoid or delusional or had illusions and hallucinations uh, we can't trust our own thoughts or our own decisions and, and we have that lack of confidence so Diane hopefully that answers your question uh, yes we all go through that uh, at certain stages and uh, once we get our, our confidence back once we start getting a structure and getting our our place and our niche found and, and getting better uh, that that will go away so if you have a question for me, just email me at bmcphee at magpiemags.com or go to our website, mentalwellnesstoday.com. And uh, thank you for tuning in to this daily video blog. And if you have a question, just email me. Thank you. And uh, we really want to be your partner in mental wellness. Have a great day.